One thing I love about popular firearms is there's a lot of aftermarket support. And because of that, it really keeps the manufacturers on their toes. Um, and one of the things Glock, you know, is world renowned for reliability and you can get those Glock mags and they're great. But it's also good to see other companies like ETS, which is Elite Tactical Systems and these translucent mags. The modern handgun is reliable. I mean, it's, if it's not reliable, it's unusual. There's something wrong. And typically you can find out the problem through the magazine. So having magazines that just function when you need them to is paramount to a self-defense situation. And one of the things that I'm really careful about is getting magazines that are aftermarket uh, because I've had so many problems in the past. Um, now, there are a lot of different companies that have come out uh, and Magpul is one of them. They just, their mags just work and they're great mags. ETS uh, has already started between their AR-15 magazines, now the Glock mags. I've been hearing so many good things about these magazines. Um, and, you know, a lot of you guys are like, well, why not just go ahead and buy Glock mags? Well, one of the great things about these aftermarket companies that come in and make accessories and things and lower prices is, is one of the big things we see. But a lot of times lower prices mean poor quality. Uh, but what I really like is that it keeps Glock on their toes with their magazines. And they have, over the years, continued to upgrade uh, their magazines. And here's a Magpul mag. Of course, this is one that kind of got dirtied up in one of our torture tests. These are great little mags. Now, one of the things about the Magpul mag and the ETS mag is that they are not steel lined. And that's one of the things about, especially the new Glock mags. And here we have a loaded Glock mag. Uh, you can see the metal insert here and here. Uh, this is actually a 40 caliber. Uh, but, you know, these have been lined uh, with metal and it really helps you know with keeping the rigidity but the original glock mags were not they were just uh, regular polymer uh, and they functioned fine these are just been upgraded some and one of the things about this type polymer in these ets mags is they are just super strong uh, they're impervious to solvents uh, it's kind of a slick feel to it and uh, i really like being able to see the rounds because one of the things about it is typically I'll pick up a magazine and it'll have rounds in it, but I don't know how many. And I have to look back here and I'm kind of fishing around to see if I can tell. Uh, with this, you know. You see exactly how many rounds are in the magazine. But one of the big features of having translucent mags over, say, this magazine that you can't see. Uh, you know, it's got a lot of dirt on the outside, but you don't necessarily know what's going on on the inside. And that's one of the things that the ETS mag, I can look right in here and see if there's any debris or dust or dirt and clean those mags really quickly. Uh, these work with all the different Glocks, Gen 1 all the way through Gen 4. Uh, the, the polymer itself is has a lot of good properties. It's temperature resistant, uh, and one of the things it's not susceptible to UV rays. And one of the things about UV, even in your standard Glock mags, is that it can degrade the plastic, actually makes it somewhat brittle. And that can be a problem. Uh, but these are, again, solvent resistant, and they're crack resistant. And we did a number of tests with these uh, to just to check uh, by dropping them on the feed lips and dropping them, and I'm gonna show you right here, and also by running them over with my Ford F-150. I have a couple of mags here, one loaded, one unloaded. Uh, typically, if you have it in your pistol and you're just gonna drop it uh, after you fired your rounds, then we're gonna take one of the loaded mags, a little bit heavier. A little bit of scuffing, I'm gonna Continue to drop them and then we'll look at them when we finish, but I just want to give you an initial and uh, looks pretty good so far. Here you can see again, uh, not really any more scuffing, just on this corner where it's hitting but uh, no big deal. Now we're gonna drop on its feed lips. Empty mag, uh, there's no deformation at all. 
uh, with the uh, bullets in here I'm getting a little bit on the front here you can see it but uh, that's not going to affect anything mainly on the feed lips is where you really start to have problems uh, right here unless it gets deformed and it's very little it's just scuffing which you would expect on concrete now we're going to take the old Ford F-150 and we're going to run over these mags um, just getting a little revenge for me shooting the truck <laughs> Check it out, it sounded kind of crunchy. Uh, got the base plate, you can see right here. But everything else, no cracks. Uh, did get some scuffing here on the side of the empty mag pretty good. Of course, you do have concrete and uh, it's uneven. But uh, we'll check inside and really look these over. But to be honest with you, they look really good. Guys, my truck tires are fine. This is just a line that runs very uniformly around every one of my tires. So if you don't like it, send me a check and I'll replace my tires. Now I've tested these magazines in a number of different pistols, uh, different Glock pistols, but really the main thing that we did was with the Glock 26 uh, shooting the Arms Core uh, 124 grain uh, full metal jacket for the XS systems uh, big dot sights. And those sights really held up well. The magazines held up extremely well. One of the issues, we did have a couple of issues with the 31 round magazines in the Glock 26. And I think that had a lot to do with the magazine whale. Just wasn't large enough to support this extra long magazine. Uh, but it had a lot to do, I think, with just the short grip here. The mag well is real shallow. And, you know, I don't care what you've got in here, it, can't, it could cause problems. So that is one thing. And it wasn't all the magazines, it was just a few of them. When we did the test with the Lone Wolf carbine, the G9 carbine, we shot probably six to 700 rounds through it without any malfunctions. And uh, these mags really held up well. Uh, but using the standard magazines, even the 17 rounders, no hiccups whatsoever. And uh, I didn't test the 22 round magazines, the competition mags. Uh, so, you know, that's one thing I really think they'll hold up. Now to disassemble the magazine, there's a little uh, pad right here and you just push in right at that circle and then you just go forward with it. Um, it. It takes a little bit of doing, but I'm telling you, if you've ever taken apart a Glock mag, you'll know that it's a lot less than the Glock mag. Second part of that is I'm behind the camera. There it goes. Uh, there is a small little base pad that actually holds this in with the spring and then we pull the, the spring out and then we have the follower. Uh, and the follower is locked into some nubs but it's not actually attached to the follower itself. If you've ever taken a standard Glock mag apart, you have to press here because it's really captured very much, and then you press in and pull. Uh, it takes a lot more work. I would say this is about half as uh, difficult as it is to take off your Glock mag. And then just take the follower and spring, return it, take your base little base plate, and then your base pad. 
a lot easier to reinstall than to take apart, but still very easy to do. But now taking the Magpul mag, press in, and it comes off pretty simply. Uh, but just to show you the little bit of a difference. Here we have three of the 17 round magazines for the Model 17, two of the 15 round magazines for the Model 19, and then two 10 rounders for your Glock 26. And of course, all of these mags will fit into the Glock 26 interchangeably, which is one of the things I really like about Glock, but especially when you get into the 31 round magazine. Uh, Glock has the 33 rounder, but this is a 31 from ETS. These are actually a little more useful being translucent because you can typically see the rounds as they go up a little longer. And uh, in the uh, Lone Wolf carbine, the G9 carbine, these were just fantastic. But guys, I have a lot of confidence in these mags for your Glock pistols. Now for your standard Glock magazines, the prices on the Elite Tactical Systems website is $16.99. Uh, if you get the 10 round magazines, which they do make 10 rounders for states that are restricted to 10 rounds, those are actually $17.99, uh, I think just because they're a little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, and then you have your uh, 31 rounders or your 22 rounders, and they have a 27 rounder. All that is for 9mm, and that has a lot to do with competitive shooting, uh, you know, having limits there. And those are $21.99. So a really good price on these magazines, and that's directly from ETS, which is typically full retail. Uh, you can go to GunMagWarehouse.com. These are $13.49 for the standard magazines, which I thought was fantastic. Uh, if you want to go up to your 31 round magazine or the other higher capacity magazines, they run $15.99. So a great price on these magazines. And I really want to thank Skinny Medic for helping me out. Loading these magazines can be a chore. Um, I didn't find, I couldn't find my Lula loader, which I really like to have uh, when I'm loading a lot of magazines. Uh, typically, if I'm loading three or four, uh, I'm not really. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but when you're <laughs> when you're loading as many as we were, it was great to have him and do a lot of the shooting. It just gave us a lot of trigger time, and um, it was really enjoyable because these magazines just function right. So check out the ETS mags for your Glock pistols, and these are available at GunMagWarehouse.com. Great prices, and uh, for all your different mag needs. In fact, I've gotten quite a few mags from those guys lately, and they did send these mags, and I really thank them for sending these for the test because it really helps, especially when you're running them over and you're dropping them on their feed lips. But I don't think it matters. These things are just really hold up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. But overall, I felt very, but overall I had a lot, it's usually, so having really, uh, now here I have three 17 round magazines, two of the 15, okay, now I have three of the model 17, <coughs> have three of the 17 round magazines for the full size G17, have a couple of 19, uh, Hillary's not president, Hillary's not president. <laughs> Glory! Hallelujah. She's still crying. <laughs>